So like one of my earliest memories was <laughs> mum and dad asking for coffee with a mocha pot and I would always want to do it myself. I would always want to make them the coffee. I, I loved watching it as well, spat out of the top, seeing like that warm, dark brown, orange crema come through. That smell, that smell. I was addicted to the smell. I hated the taste, absolutely hated the taste. But it became like a very, very big part of my life to help connect when I finally taste the first shots of the day, darling, I mean, get them to that sweet spot. That first sip of just like, mm, someone's gonna drink this and it's just gonna make them go, fuck yeah. All right, I can do anything now, I don't care. Like that first sip, that, that's the end of the, like, the best part of my day. So, all right, I'm gonna be able to deliver something that I like put my soul into that all these farmers and pickers put their soul into. Like, it's an amalgamation of efforts and I, I'm, I'm glad to be a part of it, to express what they've done. That is the best part of my day, knowing that I can do them justice. I decided to start drinking coffee when I was 15, just to constantly taste it, to figure out why people were obsessed with it. I was making coffee in my first job. I loved the smell, as I said. I loved the act of creating it. Um, when Rahan started teaching me how to make coffee, the very first coffee I made that I was actually happy with, he's like, we're serving that. I, I was scared. <laughs> this old, old man that would come in every day, sat down, pulled out his newspaper, I was just reading. He took a sip and then the moment he took his sip, I was watching him the entire time, the moment he took his sip, he just went, put it down and turned to me and looks like, that is the best coffee I've ever had. That made me really, really happy. So even though I didn't like the taste, I wanted to keep on trying it to see what made it so special to people.